You know, people say the book is always better than the movie, but those people are wrong. Okay, expats, we are all living in the Northern Hemisphere right now, and that means that it's hot chocolate weather. Mm. Mm. You have to make hot chocolate, wait, yeah, hot chocolate with milk instead of water, unless you're lactose intolerant or something, it just tastes better. It just tastes better, okay? Trust me on this. I have been drinking hot chocolate like once a day for two weeks. It's really boosting my calcium intake. <laughs> Um, but to get back to the subject of movies, um, I haven't watched a lot of movies lately. There have been a couple of movies that I have wanted to watch, but I don't have the money to go see them in theaters or to buy them. So instead, I'm going to take on a controversial to topic and talk about movie adaptations of books. Now, um, there are a couple of books where the movie adaptation is better. Um, one of them is Fight Club by um, Chuck Palahniuk. And even the author, even Palahniuk, the author of the book, said that the movie was better than his book. But if you watch Fight Club and read Fight Club, they're actually very similar. The thing about Fight Club is that it's this thick or something and so it, it, it isn't that hard to take out the descriptions and leave all of that to acting and dialogue and there isn't there aren't very many subplots it's like the novel itself is very streamlined which makes the movie adaptation very easy um, but for Polanyak, his experience with writing the story, um, to him the story feels very, like, unconnected, and then seeing it in a different, uh, medium completely changed his whole viewpoint. Um, it, to him, it helped connect everything. And my opinion on taking books and turning them into movies is that it's like, trying to take a painting and turn it into a sculpture. Um, you're going to lose some things. It's not the only book I feel this way about. I've read Never Let Me Go and then watched the movie Never Let Me Go and I feel like the movie was better. Um, the movie formed a more coherent emotional plot line, um, and it does focus more on the romance between Kathy and Tommy, but in the book, um, there's no build-up, there's no basis for this romance between Kathy and Tommy, and, um, the movie really filled that in in a way that the narrator failed to. Um, and another what book that I would like to talk about is The Hunger Games. Um, I have read The Hunger Games several times. I have read them to myself. I've read them out loud. Um, I've watched the movie several times. The movie was not perfect as far as movie adaptations go, but um, it was very good. Um, the thing that I was looking forward to before the Hunger Games movie came out was that I felt that film would be a better medium for the story because a lot of the things that I didn't like about the Hunger Games book, about Katniss's internal thoughts and um, the structure and grammar of the diction of the narration, all of those are things that are cut out when it comes to movies, and um, 
I thought that would ultimately be better for the story. I thought it would be a better presentation. And one thing that changed from the movie, or from the book to the movie, is that the books are told in first person, but the movies are very much told in third person as a way to explain it to the audience. That's why we see um, District 11 rioting. And that added, ultimately, that added more depth to the events that are going to happen in the next two movies. It might be two, it might be four, or something. I don't know anymore. But, um, my videos have been too long these past couple weeks, so I'm gonna cut it off there. Um, in the comments, talk about books and movies, and, um, I don't really, like, talk about the changing mediums, and, um, talk about how you need to cut certain things out, and, like, would you rather sacrifice subplots that lead to character development, do you want to focus on the main plots or the subplots, what do you think is most important to a movie, and especially when coming at it from the perspective of a book. Um, I don't know what we're doing next week, but hopefully I will see Nicole on Monday.